Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear brothers and sisters, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Faculty of Theology of Marmara University, I would like to ex express my sincere gratitude and thankfulness to you all. Thank you again and again for coming to Istanbul and participating to this thoughtful organization to commemorate the Nightmare of Turkey. The nightmare came on the 15th of July of this year in the form of an attempted military coup. The country since then has been going through a traumatic experience. In fact, Turkey had the experience of military coups a number of times in the past, in 1960, in 1980, for instance. Yet, this coup attempt was different from the previous ones for two basic reasons. First, the perpetrators were not representing the main and legal structure of the army, since the attempt was carried out by a religious clique called Gulenist cult that had infiltrated into the military ranks and disguised itself for long and long years. Second, it was stopped by the civilian people of the country within hours. The attempt started after the sunset and was stopped before the dawn. The people of the country took to the streets to the cost of their lives immediately after President Erdogan called them to do so. The coup was doomed to fail because the people were so courageous and stand still against the tanks and planes, but their only weapon was their naked hands. The betrayers of the army were so relentless and brutal that they killed over 240 civilians in Ankara and Istanbul within just one or two hours. By shelling and bombing many places, mainly the Bosphorus Bridge and the Parliament Building in Ankara. The people of the country defended not only democracy, but also the entire country against the Gulenist terrorists who were wearing the military uniforms of Turkish army. And the terrorists were not able to be successful against the heroic courage of the people. Several of these heroes of human rights and democracy are among us today, and they will tell you their own stories about how they stopped the coup plotters. And finally, I pray that the country would never face again such a terrible and inhumane experience. May Allah bless the souls of the people who were martyrized. May he give a speedy recovery to the wounded as well. We will never forget them, and I believe we will never forget the traitors either. Once again, I would like to express my pleasure to host you in this beautiful city of Istanbul. Thanks again for your warm company and support. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.